Hey guys, Sam here and welcome back to another FIFA 17 experiment. Today is going to be a very interesting experiment. It's the first time I'm doing an experiment inside of career mode. You guys know that usually I do experiments in tournament mode because usually I'm doing all sorts of shenanigans where I don't want players to get sold. I don't want players to go to different clubs. I don't want teams doing stupid shit. I want it to be within one season, so I just do it in tournament mode. But today's experiment is a little bit different because we're only focusing on one team and that is right Real Madrid. What if we put the worst players in the game, players that you've never heard of, players that you would never even, you wouldn't even want to be these players. You'd rather not even be a professional footballer. You'd rather just be sitting in your room, not being a professional footballer. These people literally are touted as the worst professional footballers in the world. What if they joined probably the most prestigious club, probably the biggest club in Europe, Real Madrid. And I guess like the goal here is to see how long we can go without getting fired. How long is Real Madrid gonna allow us to have the worst team in FIFA? And also, can we survive relegation? I guess the quick answer is no, but we're gonna find out. If you guys do go on to enjoy today's video, please do leave a like on the video. Your support has been absolutely fantastic across these experiments. So if we can continue that today, if you can leave a like on the video, that'd be very much appreciated. If you're new around here, you can subscribe and also keep leaving your suggestions in the comment section below for future FIFA 17 experiments. But without further ado, let's take a look at what would happen if the worst team in FIFA played for Real Madrid. Okay, so I don't usually do this. I don't usually do experiments live, but this is how we're gonna do this one because who knows when I'm gonna get fired. It could be the next freaking. it could be the first match. We could get battered like 10-0 and get fired. This is the team that we're rolling in with. This is the elite. These are the new Galacticos right here, right? We've got uh, Dalby up front. Uh, Dalby is a 45 rated striker from England. Bright future ahead of him. We've got uh, Alzate, Williams, Wilson, Aldridge, Clifton, Saki, Butler, Judd, Peppard, and Foden. No one higher than 48 will be playing. It'll be 47 and below. No one above the 48 rating is allowed. I've also disabled the first transfer window because I don't want Real Madrid saying that I need to sign anybody. Taking a look at the objectives of the season, actually a fun fact, if you do go ahead and do this, you could do with it with any team, if you adjust teams, they adjust the objectives around the star ratings. So if you take a look at, for example, our domestic success, in the La Liga, our job is to avoid the relegation. In the Copa de España, it's to reach the round of 32. What I like the most, though, is that in the Champions League, our objective is to reach the group stage. So we've already done that because Real Madrid are in the group stage of the Champions League automatically. So there is a chance that maybe we won't get fired because our seriously, our objective is to avoid relegation. So you never know. We have a chance to get through a whole se We have a chance, boys. That's all I'm saying. We have a chance. I got no chance. I got absolutely no chance. All right, in the news, they're predicting us to become 20th. Our key player, though, is going to be Kalen Hines or Hins. Okay, we're here at our first game. It is against Real Sociedad away. Let's see how badly we get beaten. My prediction is... 4-0 to Real Sociedad, but if we score a goal, I'd be pretty happy with that. I'd be pretty happy with us scoring a goal, I'm not gonna lie. I mean, it's 0-0 so far. Okay, fine. Zurutuza makes it 1-0. It took him 21 minutes to score on this team, but they've made it 2-0 pretty early on. And uh, my prediction of 4-0 is currently on... It's on route to become a 4-0 game, but... You never, I mean, we're showing a bit of fight here. We're not going down easy. I mean, uh, if anything, Sociedad should be embarrassed that they've only been able to put three past us. Canales making it three in the 85th minute. So, overall, not a bad first game. Not a bad one. We're going to get fucked so badly. I'm not going to score a single. We're not going to score a single goal. All right, home game here against Celta Vigo. Second game of the season. I'm expecting big things from these players now. They've had a chance to work with each other. They've had a game. They've had 90 minutes. We're at home. Um, so I would expect a draw here. Oh, we've scored a goal. We were actually up 1-0 for an entire minute, guys. That, I think, is just... I think that this is a success now. We're down to 10 men, though. So who knows what's going to happen now. We're up 2-1. Oh, they brought it back. And then they've missed a the penalty. We were up for a total, we were in the lead for a total of three minutes this game, but it's put them three minutes on the board, guys. Three minutes, we were in the lead. All right, third game of the season, another home game here. We're not at the bottom of the table at the moment, so I'm pretty happy with that, but we need to pick up some points. We can get, they beat Real Sociedad, who beat us, but we're at home against Osasuna. So far in the league, we've been in the lead for three minutes. 
So hopefully we can add to the tally here today. If we can get ahead of Osasuna for a few more minutes, that'd be nice. Wilson puts us up 1-0. Yes, boys, look at the minutes. We're adding minutes right now. We've been ahead for 20 minutes. It's 1-0. Can we hold on to the lead? No. They brought one back. Osasuna bring one back, but it's our first points of the season. That's 30 more minutes that we can add to our tally. That's 33 minutes so far this season we've been in the league. In the league? That's so far 33 minutes we've been in the lead so far this campaign. I'm, I'm genuinely shocked. We've picked up a point. That's with 40 rated players, we've picked up a point. Okay, our first Champions League game against the young boys. So it's, it's shit boys versus young boys. Who's going to come out on top? I mean, we are at home, and so far it seems like we're able to score at home, although young boys have gone up 1-0 in the first 10 minutes. As I said, we're keeping account. We have 33 minutes on the board in terms of how uh, long we've been ahead for. Uh, we've brought it back to 1-1, though. Judd, our left back, has scored a goal, which is good. I'll uh, take a point in the Champions League for, to kick off our campaign, but young boys go up 2-1, so maybe that's not possible. Can we score a second goal? Yes or no? Can we score a second goal? No, we can't. We've lost 2-1 in our first Champions League game. Okay, that's not bad. Our goal for the Champions League has already been met. All we have to do is get into the group stages. We're in the group stages. So right now, we're just... We're having a little bit of fun in the Champions League. We don't really need to do well in the Champions League. Oh, by the way, I think I should point it out now because I didn't point it out before. Our manager name is You Sell Your Company Vibes. And if you don't know who that is, you have to tune into the streams because that's... He's a legend, pretty much. We have one point. Sporting Gijon have one point. We're still not last, which is good, but this is an away game, so I am expecting a loss here. Uh, but we, we have been... We've scored some goals. We've done we've done bits, I think. Look, we're not getting battered, right? 2-0. I'll, I'll take... I'll take a... Th I'll take... Okay, Baptistao has his hat-trick. It's 3-0 now to Espanyol. I'd like to point out now that four games into the league campaign and a Champions League game under our belt, our manager rating is still 79. So Real Madrid have really lowered their expectations for us, which is very nice. Going into our next game against Villarreal. All right, Adrian puts Villarreal up in the 11th minute, which is not a good start. I mean, we have 30, We only have 33 minutes. I thought we'd be able to add to our tally in this home game here. Barcelona are playing Atletico Madrid, if you see in the bottom right corner there. So that's a big game. Trigueros makes it 2-0 to Villarreal, and I'd probably chalk this up as a loss already, which is no good. And there you have it. At the end of the game, it's Villarreal who pick up a 2-0 lead. Okay, going into our sixth game, we're still not last. Sporting Gijon are doing a very good job at keeping us in 19th. So I'd just like to give a big thank you for them. Just like, just take out a minute just to like appreciate them. As we go into this away game against Las Palmas, I'm sure they're going to batter us. So I'm not really looking forward to this. All right, they've gone up. <laughs> they were up 1-0 in the first six minutes. Okay, it's 2-0. It's over. Throw in the towel. Can we just forfeit the game? Why can't I just forfeit the game? I don't want my players to go through any more punishment. They're wasting their stamina now for no reason. Okay, we've finally hit the red zone in terms of our manager rating. We're down to a 69. Cheeky 69. But we do have a home game here against Iba, which might be our saving grace. I think we might be able to pull out a draw here against Iba. I mean, the home games are really our only chance. So you just got to... Okay. Forget what I was saying. There's no chance. Williams! Yes, son! Come on! Let's get a point out of this game. Please, let's hold on, boys. Ten more minutes. Come on. Yes! Another point on the board, guys. Yes! Two points. Still only 33 minutes in the lead, but two points on the board. Things are looking up. The future is looking bright for Real Madrid. Let me tell you something. <laughs> wow. We've done so well that the Australian national team <laughs> wants us to be their manager. Get out of here, Australia. You could do better than me. Just shows the fucking ambition of the Australian national team, doesn't it? The fucking hiring a manager that's gotten two draws in seven games. All right, we well and truly have left Sporting Gijon on their own last, but we're playing Real Betis here. As you can see, if this was a home game, I think we'd really, I'd really like our chances. Betis only have six points from seven games, so if we want to get out of this relegation zone, we would have to beat them away, which is borderline impossible. I'm just hoping for the best here. A draw would be okay. I'd be happy with a draw. Let's just not get battered. They do have Antonio Sanabria, who's a fantastic player. Actually, their team in general is not that bad. I'm not sure why they're struggling so much. Oh, they've gone up 1-0. It's only one though, boys. Can we claw one back, please? I'd like a draw. Can we get... A, we have not gotten a single point away. No. Okay. Donk has scored. It's 2-0. It's over. Come on, Bill Bow. Give me another point. We need another point really, really desperately. And it, please, Bilbao, can you please look into the deepest part of your heart and give us a point? Please. I'm, I'm asking nicely. No. Okay. Susayeta has made it 1-0. Man. 
Bill Bell were not playing around. I asked them nicely and they destroyed us pretty much. They demolished us. They were like, take your one point and shove it up your ass. All right, the goal for the domestic cup was to reach a round of 32. This is the round of 32, so we've already reached it. So there we go. That's two objectives that we have actually fulfilled at the moment, which is always good. Uh, but we are playing Celta Vigo, and they, and they probably will win. It should be pointed out. We're going to get knocked out of the Copa de España pretty quick. 3-0. Easy. Just dispatched. Just completely dispatched. Okay, in terms of the manager rating, we are back in the red zone. But I think we have... If Again, if this was a home game, I'd be way more confident. But this is Deportivo Alavés. And they are only one point ahead of us. By the way, look at that relegation zone. Like, how fucking pathetic are we, these three teams in the relegation zone? But this is three points Alavé versus two points Real Madrid. So we can't let them win. At the Yes! We're up, Williams! C count these minutes, boys. That's another nine minutes on the board. That's a total of 42 minutes we have been in the lead. But now Deportivo Alavé is going to beat us. Okay, yeah, they, they are well and truly punishing us for going up 1-0. I thought, <laughs> for a second, I thought maybe we would be able to do it. That is embarrassing. But <laughs> that's another nine minutes <laughs> we were in. <laughs> that's another nine minutes we were in the lead. So we're up to 42 minutes. We've nearly got a ho We've nearly been in the lead for a whole half of football, guys. That's the important stuff right there. Is this for real? I could be the French national manager on the back of these performances. Okay, update on the manager rating. We have dropped below a 60 rating. We're at 58 right now. I don't know what rating you have to get to to get fired because it feels like you never get fired in career mode, but I'm sure we're about to find out. But we have a home game against Legane or Leganes. Yes, Saki. Yes, son. We're 1-0 up. Come on. Come on, Real Madrid. I know you can do it. This is, by the way, this is some very good minutes right here. Okay, that's, how many minutes is that? That's 30. Oh my God. Okay, hold on. Let's not do the math just yet because we might actually pull out three points here. Can you imagine if we win? They're down to 10 men. I don't think that actually matters in a simulated game, but five more minutes. We've done it. We've fucking done it, boy. We won a game with the worst team in fucking FIFA, and they won a simulated game. It's 20. It's 27 minutes for the, when, when we went up 1-0. We were already on 42, so that's 69 minutes. Unfortunately, we're not going to remain on 69 minutes because between the 52nd and 90th minute, we were also in the lead. So 69 is what we were, would be on, but you have to add another 38 for the fact that we were in the lead for the rest of the game. So in total, we've been up for 107 minutes, if my math isn't failing me, and it might be. As you can see, on the back of one win, we've gone up to a 76 manager rating. Company vibes, Real Madrid adventure is still alive. Okay, here's a big one. Away at Atletico Madrid. For once, Atletico Madrid are going to enjoy a full-on battering of Real Madrid. I mean, they are just going to slap us around, which is not good. All right, it ended 4-0. It ended 4-0, okay? If you want, if you really wanted to know. Okay, we've got a really good chance now of catching up a little bit with Sporting Gijon. They have a four-point lead against us, but we're playing them at home, and we seem to have do all right at home. We seem to have a chance at home, so if there's a chance, that's all I ask for, really. I'm actually a little bit nervous. Oh, I'm not even gonna lie. Like, damn it! Come on, boys. This is our opportunity. Come on. Not. F don't give them three points, please. Don't give them three points, please. Shit. Well, English people, what do you have to say about that? Your country is willing to hire someone who has one win in like. <laughs> 20 games this season. All right, we're, we're in a bit of hot water right now. Going into this game against Deportivo, we have survived all the way to December, but going into this game against Deportivo La Coruña, we are looking pretty, pretty bad. 45 manager rating. I don't know how close that is to being fired, but we desperately need a result if we're going to keep our job here at Real Madrid. I mean, we really, we really need a win. No. No. Stop. Okay, we scored one. <laughs> we got one back. There's a chance for a draw here. I thought they scored three goals in a row, by the way. Uh, that was going to start crying or something like that. We have a chance. No, we don't have a chance. There's no chance. Oh, it's another loss. That might have been the last game we were in control of Real Madrid for. That could have been the, the, the last one. Okay. Don't ask me how, but we have survived all the way to December 25th, Christmas. And um, we have a 34 manager rating. But we have survived to the first El Clasico, and it is away. 
at the Camp Nou. So I'm sure we're gonna get absolutely fucked. I don't know though, MSN versus WDA. <laughs> Williams, Dalby, and Alzate. <laughs> we have a chance. <laughs> what the fuck am I talking about? Seriously. All right, it was four nil. Is that it, Barcelona? Pathetic. No, I've made it to <laughs> I've made it to January. If you could believe that, we've done it, boys. We've made it to the Holy Grail of January. We're below a thirty. Oh no. Hey. They didn't say I was fired. I didn't see a message saying I was fired, but I I've been fired. Look, it says advance by pressing the start button. We, what? What? Did they fire me on a game day and it just, it didn't go through? <laughs> what has just happened? I, I was fired because you couldn't just get out of the inbox. You had to press start. Okay, if this, if this is our last game, let's say we get fired after this game. This is how the league looks like at the moment. Atletico Madrid are at the top with one loss. Barcelona second. We're last. We have eight goals so far. In, eight goals in 16 matches, which isn't too bad in my opinion. But we've conceded 43. We have a win and two draws equaling five points. This could be our last game because I swear to God that they fired me on a game day. I, that's why I was saying. I didn't see the message, but it says... When it says advance with the start button, that means you're going into a new season. We, 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 seven more minutes, boys. 114 minutes at the top, not at the top, in the lead. Yeah, whenever it's, it, that's like you're picking your new team or you're starting the new season. So I swear they fired us, but they picked the game day and it didn't go through. So maybe we've been saved. And if we get a point here away to Sevilla, they can't fire me. They can't. No! Oh, boys. We were one minute away from picking up our first away points and Vitolo ruined it. Now I'm gonna get fired because of him. There it is, terminated. No! Oh, we did so well. I mean, we did shit, but we got to the 16th of January and we got fired. Mr. Company Vibes, we regret to inform you that the board has decided to remove you from your position as a manager of the club. The board's confidence in you is currently very low, at a 27 manager rating. We wish you the best of luck for the future of your career. Yours sincerely, the Real Madrid Board of Directors. Terminated. 60k. We, we made quite a bit. If we're making 60k a week, we're making about 240k a month. I mean, we're millionaires on the back of this job, so I ain't even mad. I'll sign it. I'll sign it if I have to. Alright, on the back of our performances, the only team in the world that want our services is Accrington Stanley. So there you go, guys. That is the end of the experiment. A bit of a different one. This was probably a bit of a longer video as well, but oh, there was ups, there was downs. We won a game with the worst team in FIFA. We won a game, um, but overall we got we got spanked overall, to be honest with you. If you did enjoy this one, do leave a like on the video. Like I said, this was a bit of a different one and it was actually quite enjoyable. I'll be honest with you, I like this one. This was a fun one to make. If you're new around here, additionally, you can subscribe and keep leaving your suggestions in the comment section below for future FIFA 17 experiments. Without further ado, guys, I've held you here long enough watching this bullshit, so I'm, I'm gonna get up out of here. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you did enjoy today's video. I hope you had a good day. I'll see you guys in the next one very soon. Keep it real.